Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Um, you know, as we as we begin, uh, you know, today, obviously one of those days that tells us that football season is here. And, and over the course of the last week or so, I think everybody's in the same position in their programs. You're starting to put out your, your preseason guide. You're starting to hype. You're starting to talk about everything with the media. Um, and it was brought to my attention through some of those conversations that I've, I've slowly moved myself up kind of, I guess, into the top half in terms of the tenure um, here in the RMAC, which is amazing going into year three. But, you know, there's been so much talk today with a lot of coaches about the growth of the conference, the growth of the RMAC, um, and as coming in over the last couple of years and, and trying to get New Mexico Highlands to be part of that growth, to be part of those teams that are being talked about when it comes to championships and it comes to postseason play, um, that's been a big challenge for us. And obviously, last year was a big step for us in the right direction in terms of growing um, with our, our win record, you know, winning some football games, obviously. Um, and we've had a tremendous amount of growth as a program um, and a lot of support. You know, I have to thank, uh, obviously, uh, President Freeze, our president, and Ed Monsonatis, our athletic director, for giving me an opportunity to build a program. And, and as we've said, it wasn't that long ago that New Mexico Highlands maybe didn't have the best reputation. Um, we're still working through a lot of things, but at the same time, um, we've made some incredible strides in the last two years. We do have two guys in NFL camps right now um, with Jordan Campbell, who we've talked about, and Abdul Kenna is still with the Cleveland Browns right now. Um, so we've made some noise. Um, it's made growing our program a lot easier. The support has been there. Um, the people are excited to be part of what we're doing. Um, we have grown a little bit in terms of our facility this year. Um, anybody that's familiar with New Mexico Highlands campus, um, we've been in that football field house right next to the, the stadium uh, forever, as far as I can tell. I think every alumni that's come back to meet with me um, has got some story about those exact same offices. Um, we finally, over years, got a student center built on the far side of campus. So as a football program, we've taken possession of the old student center. So we are talking 20,000 square feet plus of football space. So that's offices, meeting rooms, weight room, uh, uh, locker room, all the things that we need to finally give ourselves an opportunity to be in a football facility and be able to, to make it a little bit easier to get our job done every day. Um, we've, we've grown as a roster. You know, when we first came in, we had to make a lot of changes. I know Coach Smith um, is going through that process right now. We had, it was all transfers. It was all new guys and, and uh, trying to sell a dream and trying to sell a, a promise without a lot to sell with. Um, we made a, 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 a commitment to obviously a quick change, but we also have been able to bring in, I think this year, a, a class of 30 plus freshmen um, to build on last year's freshman class. So we are you know, slowly working our way up to, to some consistency over you know, getting into year three. We finally have some guys that we can talk about that have been in the program for a period of time. Um, and we're starting to, to, again, grow as a program. So there's a lot of exciting things happening. I think last year, you know, and really the last two years, we we're talking 70 to maybe 80 guys on that roster. You know, right now we're looking at around 110. And a lot of that has been able to build that freshman class and hopefully some consistency of guys that have been in our program and understand what we do. Um, you know, our, our team as a whole this year, um, you know, after a couple of years, guys figured out I'm, I'm going to let most of our players introduce themselves over the course of the year. I don't spend a lot of time talking about our guys that that uh, that you don't know about. Um, but at the same time, we do have a few guys now, like I said, over the last couple of years that you've heard of. Um, and some of the guys that have received recognition preseason and a couple of the guys we have here. Um, you know, our offense, uh, we really believe, can be one of the most explosive in the nation. Um, Emmanuel Lewis, our quarterback, is back. He was number two in the nation last year in total offense. Um, he was invited and participated this year in the Manning Passing Academy and was able to go down there and hold his own with some of the elite quarterbacks in the country. Um, we believe that he is that caliber of player. And uh, obviously, the guy that's truly going to get the reins of the offense this year, being a second-year starter in that system, um, we, are, <laughs> we are very optimistic in terms of our ability to put points on the board this year. Um, you know, we have, I know the question's been asked a little bit, Darius Davis uh, receiving some preseason uh, accolades. Uh, we, we also truly thought he was a senior last year um, as he went through his year. Um, and we went through a kind of our exit process as we do at the end of the year and digging through some things and did realize that, that he has another year left. Um, so, uh, you know, an incredible receiver, an incredible talent, a guy that goes and makes catches on what look like uncatchable balls at times. Um, 
but this guy is, is going to be back. Um, he, he unfortunately is, is now going through an off-season surgery, so we'll find out how many games it's going to take to get him back to full speed. Um, but a tremendous weapon as long, around, along with a lot of other players that are coming in to really be what we think can be an explosive offensive football team. Um, I've stood up here for the last two years and told you we're a defensive football team. I still would like to believe that, uh, but as we go through you know, our summer process and last spring ball, boy, that offense is something special. Um, but our defense right now, we are aggressive. We're aggressive in all three phases of the game, and I think everyone knows that. We're going to continue to keep the pedal down at all times. Um, that's just what we have to do to be able to compete. Um, we have a defense this year that I believe we have seven guys in the back seven that are seniors, um, as well as two graduate students, bringing that to nine guys that are, that are there with something to prove towards the end of their careers. Um, most of those guys, like I said, are in the back seven. Um, we have uh, Jared Coster here with us today who's receiving mention in a lot of preseason All-American type watch lists. He'll be a junior for us and certainly the leader of that defense. You know, I've, I've said, I told him he needs to be prepared to ask the question, how in the world do you play defense without Jordan Campbell? The answer is Jared Coster. That's who's going to lead this defense for us and obviously the guys that are coming in around him and, and the tremendous experience that we have, especially in that back seven, especially in that back seven. And then, you know, we'll move around a lot at that front and be able to create some issues, hopefully, um, by being athletic and being aggressive. Um, you know, really, as everyone stands up here, it's such a fantastic time of year because everyone's optimistic. Everyone wants uh, the opportunity to do something special this year. And the growth that we've had as a program uh, over the course of the last couple of years and the growth that we've had in terms of the type of, of guys we got in our program, the type of, of you know, camp that we expect this year, it's a, a 180 degrees from the feel that, that our group had two years ago. And that's exciting for us. It's a positive thing, obviously, for our program, for our community, for our institution. Um, and, and this season, we expect to be a good one. You know, we, we appreciate the, uh, the people that are excited for us. Um, and, and we expect to be able to go out there and put on a good show this fall. So I uh, look forward to seeing everybody every week through the RMAC play, because as it's been said, it, it should be an exciting season all the way around. Any questions? Thank you.